All right, here we go. We're out in the garage now. I lightly cleaned out the car. I had a whole stack of multiple sets of tires in the back. These are the Krager Unilug SS's that will be going with the car when I sell it. Uh, they got some old meat on there, uh, dry rotted. They've sat a while. I used to drive on them just for fun. Uh, the reason I'm selling the car, this car takes up too much of my time. Uh, that's probably why. So there it is, 1972 AMC Ambassador. Came with a 5.9 liter 360 with the 927 torque flight transmission, I believe. Uh, I, when I got it, uh, I wanted to uh, make it into a badass uh, little cruiser. But um, I got a little bit more serious with this thing carried away going on. So yeah, all right, it's a 41 year old car. So being a 40, 40 year, 41 year old car, there's gonna be some rust and there's going to be little quirks. Someone backed up into that tail light. I have strips on it, but uh, it faded the red away. You can easily get those. You just have to source uh, someone who has them. Um, the tailgate drops down both ways, but uh, right here is a mechanism where it will allow it to slide uh, open or come down like a clamshell. And it's a little loose, so when I open like a clamshell, I support it here so this doesn't come falling out. Uh, it works. Rear window goes down good. Uh, again, being a 41 year old car, there is going to be rust. Uh, the main rust is right around the bottom seal. Uh, the butt cheek, if you would like to call it. Um, and then it has some awkward rust. Uh, when it sat, the rain pooled down, sat down there, sat and rusted. So here goes the power plant. 5, 9, 360, uh, batteries currently out of the Datsun. Um, things I replaced within the year I owned it. I had a radiator explode on me. It gave me a nasty little scar on my thumb. Really nice. I like it. Uh, starter solenoid. Um, voltage regulator, uh, internal va voltage regulator, I mean external voltage regulator, I believe. Uh, a little tune-up shit, thermostat, uh, MSD, aluminum intake, holly, carb, uh, the Edelbrock torquer manifold, I believe. Um, when I got it, the car was in Minnesota all its life and still was this little says uh springfield minnesota loomis motors i don't know if you can see that or not um a couple things uh the fan blades are broke the shroud for the fan blade should be in the back um this cut me up pretty good so you would probably want to put a fan shroud blade on and replace that i did replace the master uh, uh cylinder but it is already starting to look old and nasty. Other than that, it uh, starts, runs. Could use a good tune-up. Could probably have the, the uh, dwell set and, you know, just a lot of love. I used it for a main winter driver. Um, I'll start it up here. It hasn't started uh, in about a week. I drove it in. I was going to uh, show one of my co-workers of it. Uh, so okay, so on the inside, inside, all windows roll down, nice, all windows locked, the interior is pretty good in here, don't mind the jumper cables or uh, nonsense down there, the dash is in good condition, actually great condition, we'll say that, um, original Phillips 66 uh, oil change thing, uh, oil change holder. The ceiling is in great condition all the way back. The back seat is in pretty good condition. When I folded this down, there's two springs on both sides. I disconnected those. It just needs the springs connected. Um, being old, one time my friend got in, slammed the door. The handle broke off. I have the handles, but the mounting broke off from here and here. 
So that should be an easy fix. It's just uh, time that I don't really have. All the port windows work. Um, AM works. The car originally came with air conditioning with the York compressor, but I don't have that in here anymore. I took that out. Um, so here we go. Got all the keys. Cigarette lighter works. Um, we'll pump it. Popper broke off, so I'm using a vice grip to hold on to the wire inside the sheathing. Um, yeah, it's not the nicest. Yeah, it's a little ghetto. Um, interior, this goes down. Uh, that's probably one of the only quarks on the interior. The knobs missing. Uh, got the button for the clear window. I'll hit this and we'll look back here. All right. Well, there goes the motor running. Um, it has one small oil leak. When I put on the aluminum intake right underneath there, there should have been uh, a front seal in the back. Uh, go with a valley pan gasket that did not come with it, so I just used some RTV and obviously it's leaking. Uh, closing the hood, go latch behind here. So there goes that. All right, I'm gonna pull it up and I'll just show that it runs and drives under its own power. All right, back in here. I got church garage there. I nestled this in there. All right. Here's really good. I tried to describe this to my friends as I can curl my hair, I can eat a cheeseburger, and shuffle a deck of cards with one hand while the other hand steers with a thumb. It's that easy. So when I bought it, I drove it in the winter, and uh, I bought a really good set of some Vulcan Espia winter tires for it. It got me all the way through winter. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Never really got me stuck. Uh, that was a little high, but... Um, it's run about open headers. It's got the, the crossover system with the flapper and the exhaust manifold. Uh, well, that is messed up, so it is a little loud. Well, it's, it's a hot rod. Um, all the chrome is there. I am missing the bottom rocker panel trim, but that fell off in winter. I picked it up. I have it in the garage that will come with it. Um, original hubcaps and tires. Uh, this one has a little, uh, must have some curb action there. The previous owner put a little uh, expanding chrome. Uh, Now we gotta look underneath the car here. Okay, so we got a couple things. Trust me, too bad. It's just more awkward for a 40 year old car, remember. Okay, so we got the trim hanging on there. here. She's low. The previous owner that I bought it from, he was a younger guy, he chopped the springs um, and we chopped the springs and fucked up the ride and everything. 
and he lowered it so much that the strut, the strut was uh, bottoming out and snapped off the top eyelet on the strut shock assembly. So there was there was a, a, a half a strut shock working up here. Um, I replaced those and I tried to raise it up the best I could. Uh, getting some strings. That uh, work I made a bottoming block essentially bump Car will run forever. I poured oil. Um, it's a great car. Don't get me wrong. I, I really do love it, but I want it to go to a good home. Oh yeah, the doors. The doors are good, but being 40 years old, they, they kind of are a little saggy. A little saggy. So uh, uh, don't be expecting. Uh, a show car. This is show. Jams are pretty good. Lots of dust. Um, the previous owner lived on a dirt road. I've never really dusted it or detailed it, but uh, all this will come right up. These tires do not come with it. They're for my dots and for lug. You got no use for them. Um, again, it's a pretty decent car. Oh yeah, got the option uh, over shoulder rests. Uh, the lights should work. I'm sure there's a few dead light uh, bugs in there. Um, she's uh, slowly getting there. She's a car that I'm trying to find. Go to a good home. She deserves that. Roll him. I zip tied this, this was hanging all the way out. I was snagging other cars. Again, the previous owner. Yikes. Uh, original gas cap. All the glass is in good condition. Car's just a little dirty. Chrome is all there, good condition. Again, this is a 1972. AMC Ambassador Bro Ham was the top of the line family cruiser in its day. 5.9 liter. Originally came with the Motorcraft 2 barrel on there with the cast iron intake manifold. I have those that will go with the sale. I have brand new brake shoes. Uh, I believe they're brake vest. All the way around in the box. Uh, those will also come with the car. I have no use for those. I have two Velpro valve cover gaskets. I was going to take those off, kind of make them a little, a little prettier. Uh, those will come with it. Uh, good caps. Uh, front corners are all there. Good. Again. I will drive this thing pretty much damn near everywhere. I would just want to give it a really good tune-up first. Lots of, lots of looks are given. Lots of thumbs up. 